we will continue the meditation we started uh, uh, previously and um, we we first considered the people to whom the birth of jesus christ was announced first they were very poor shepherd ordinary simple people and they were privileged to receive that news and so poverty doesn't not necessarily a hindrance to for you to be rich in faith see how enriched they became with the knowledge of a savior for whom they have been waiting wonderful and uh, the by the same token simply because you are rich and educated and you are we, we, you have a standing in your society that doesn't need to be a hindrance to your coming to know Jesus Christ as well so the second group of people that the message came in a different manner was the wise men and so today let us look into what happened to them and what i want to consider today in this meditation is the obedience of both the shepherds and the wise men to the wise men it came through the knowledge of a of a sighting of a very very special star and these men were highly qualified to study the movement of stars and special so they could interpret what the appearance of that particular star meant a king was born and uh, so the star directed them to jerusalem now i wanted to want us to notice this morning the obedience of both the shepherds and the wise men the shepherds were obedient to the heavenly vision and what did they receive what message they received we see in them no doubts no questionings no hesitation and no reservations the message itself sounded strange and improbable nevertheless they went to bethlehem in haste they found everything exactly as they were told to them by the angels and their simple faith was richly rewarded they had the privilege of being the first men after uh, joseph and mary who saw with believing eyes the newborn messiah jesus christ the savior and now now let us consider how about the wise men from the east now their case also the similar the revelation came to them in a different manner and they too were obedient to that revelation and they made all the preparations started on a long and tedious journey you imagine that these three wise men met together by appointment in a particular place from three different places probably three different countries and they started their journey and probably the journey uh, uh, lasted almost 2 years the journey following the path of obedience to the revelation they arrived where, where the star led them and they too were rewarded richly they saw the messiah with their own eyes they carried with them gifts all of them we don't know exactly how many were there everybody talk the bible doesn't say that there were three men but uh, because uh, three kinds of gifts were given so people may have concluded oh, there were three wise men but it could have been seven i don't know but whatever the number that is not important but the important thing is how they got a revelation 
So the revelation came to them in a different manner than the, the, the shepherds received. And they were obedient to their revelation. They started their tedious journey. And probably their journey lasted over about two years. But they were re rewarded. And for 2,000 years remained as examples to the rich and educated. Because you are rich, you don't need to live in ignorance of the Savior and salvation and eternal receiving eternal life. You too may come to the Savior and experience the richness of his grace and mercy. So don't let your education and your standing in the society, your, uh, your riches, to stand on the way of uh, coming to the savior of the world, the creator God himself, and to be connected with him so that you may receive eternal life, which is the meaning of uh, eternal salvation. Found in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Just like the wise men came and uh, arrived at the Messiah's place and saw him, worshipped him, paid their homages of thanks and worship and given, them, given him the gifts they brought. Now the message is clear to all that the rich and the educated too must meet the Savior. Because he, the Messiah, is worthy of men, humanity's worship and homage and a connection and a relationship. May our spirit be like theirs. May we ever believe implicitly and act promptly. Wait for nothing. We too shall be rewarded richly with the knowledge of the almighty God and his salvation plan for you and for me. God bless you as you live today and enjoy the favor of the Lord in humility bow before him with thanksgiving you too can be rich in faith God's blessing be upon you and uh, I pray that the Holy Spirit will enable you strengthen you and enlighten you to be humble and come to the Savior, the Messiah, the Savior of the world, and be connected with him through which relationship you will walk into your eternal life with Christ. Amen. God's blessing be upon you. Thank you.